It's the NFL on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC North. It's the Detroit Lions and the Minnesota Vikings, and it's all up next. Now from downtown Minneapolis, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League. yes to those questions the NFC North becomes one of the top and most competitive divisions in all of NFL football he'll get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start the Lions led by Jared Goff chanting his name during the playoffs in 2023 in Detroit far cry from the trade from the Rams to the Lions second in the league in passing a season ago he spent a lot of time, Mike, over these last couple days speaking to the media. And the thing that jumped out to me was just how confident he was in his team's preparation ahead of today's game. Now, only time will tell or not whether it makes a difference. But if his confidence is any indication of how they're going to perform, this could be a tough team to beat. Mike, this defense talked all week about the importance of coming out fast and starting this game the right way. And... It's less about the loss of yards there on that first play and more about just setting the tone. Hey, we're going to be here all day. We're bringing it. And boy, did they gets there, and down he goes. This has been a tough sequence right out of the jump. You work all week on your opening script, and they're usually the plays that you feel the best about to try to establish some sort of early rhythm. But through two plays, run and pass, all they've done is go backwards. of starts on offense here in early third and long. Out of the shot go. It's gone. And this is going to be incomplete. That is a let down there. Pass look to be on target. No catch. And now fourth down. The offense just couldn't seem to get anything going that drive. They knew they had a long way to go taking over possession that deep in their own territory. You want to pick up that first down and see if you can capitalize some momentum. Instead, the errant throw brings up fourth down, and they're going to have to punt it away. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. Here's the Minnesota offense taking the field for the first time. They're led out by the number three overall pick back in the 2018 draft. Out of USC, it's Sam Darnold. I think it's fair to say that the trajectory of his career hasn't gone exactly according to plan. But you don't get drafted as the third overall pick unless you have a ridiculous amount of talent. He's bounced around a few places throughout his career. He's had some ups and downs. But when he's on his game, he is as talented a thrower as there is in the NFL. And an impressive outing today could go a long way in making him back a full-time starter. Set to go now on first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. Off he goes. And it's a game of 20 on the heels of another big play to begin this drop. So there's a fine line, Mike, between giving your wide receivers every chance they can to get open downfield 
but at the same time, you can't stress your protection. I think he does a nice job in this case understanding that balance. He escapes the pocket, turns into a runner, and he's able to pick up the first down. Play fake to Jones, and now Darnold. He'll run again. And he'll be taken down. Quarterback does a nice job here sensing the pressure pretty quickly. Realizes he doesn't have a ton of time to operate from within the pocket. Decides to tuck the ball and rely on his legs. He's able to pick up a positive play. This opening drive going to form so far. Now they've got it first and goal. That's hauled in at the two. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. From the two now, here's second and goal. They look to run with Jones. He will fight his way to the end zone. Aaron Jones. Touchdown, Vikings. A lot of big bodies down there, but at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side. And in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. On now for the extra point. Here's Will Riker. He knocks it through. Vikings will take a seven As the kicks away. The return, it's Khalil Dorsey. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to see the football for the second time. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On the ground, Montgomery to start the drive. And the defense all over this one. They knocked him down. They will go down as a loss of two. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Throwing on second down. Goff. That one incomplete. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. We're just still not quite on the same page. Third and long. From the gun, it's Goff. Going for it all. This is not the old NFL base 3-4, base 4-3. Offenses are going to roll out two, three, four high-level wide receivers at you in this pass-first modern era. If you can't roll out five DBs and all of them hold their own and be trusted to hold up, you are going to struggle defending these pass-first modern offenses. The drive begins with a carry by Jones. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but... Probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed, you know that play's not going anywhere. That's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration. Great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. 
again, it's Jones. And he'll get this ahead. Gain of about four. And it leads to third down. the worst case scenario immediate pressure in his face with nowhere to go with the ball downfield just get the ball out of your hand live to play another down instead he retreats backwards and leads to a massive loss so fourth down and Ryan Wright on to punt it away. Deep for the Lions, Holly Freeman. And he's going to be hit and dropped right away. That's great coverage there. Winds up with nothing on the return. Here's the Detroit offense now, headed back onto the field. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Throwing, Goff. This one complete to Amara St. Brown. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. These hitch routes, they're usually just designed to pick up a few safe yards. An easy completion, get some rhythm for your quarterback. However, this time, he's able to make a little magic happen after the catch and turn it into something much bigger than even they were probably anticipating. Goff to throw on first down. And that's going to wind up incomplete. The whole idea of that short pass is designed to get the ball into the hands of the receiver in space and let him do the rest after the catch. But the key word there, Mike, is get the ball into the hands of the receiver. He doesn't secure the catch, so there is no run after. A second down throw for Goff. This one caught by Patrick. Anytime you're playing zone defense and everybody's eyes are on the quarterback, it's really easy to lose sight of some of the receivers. That's exactly what happened here. He started all the way on the far side of the field and worked his way across. Found a soft spot in the zone, and the quarterback's able to put it on him. Here's first and ten. Goff. Williams. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Here's second and two. Drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to, what they call, punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. The idea here on second down is in the event you're unable to score, at least put yourself in a third and manageable goal-to-go -go situation. But now after taking a loss, it really changes their approach here. And I think on third and goal, they're going to put this ball in the air. 
Ortiz practiced these situations all week long, like down here in the tight red zone. You find yourself inside the 10-yard line, you're thinking, we've got to come away with a touchdown. Well, after that third down incomplete, it's going to be real interesting to see how they approach this fourth down after failing on third. His kick is perfect. And the Lions are on the board. It's 7-3. to three. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. To return, it's Brandon Powell. And they bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. Out comes the Minnesota offensive unit as they get set to take over. Philippe sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass you say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. The intended receiver was Justin Jefferson, and that will lead to a second down. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Two incompletions to start the drive, and it leads to third down and ten. Throwing, Darnold. They'll be first to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Not exactly the type of drive to write home about, Mike. Three passes, three incompletions, no yards gained. And I really can't blame any of these fans who have continued to voice their frustration, especially after that last series of play calls. Here's Ryan right now. And John to punt for the second time in this opening quarter. not much doing there they made sure he would not get free the Lions offense ready to see what they can do a trail by four touchdown gives them the lead drive begins with first and ten so they start this on the ground with Montgomery he'll move this one ahead to the 31 yard line Blake Cashman up from the linebacker's spot to make the tackle. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Throwing here is gone. Run right over the middle, and they can't connect. It's incomplete. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Patrick motioning here. From the gun on third down, it's gone. He'll let this one go long for Williams. And he's got it. And he will score. Jameson Williams. Touchdown, Lions. This is when you're very fortunate as an offensive play caller, Mike, that you not only have the speed on the outside, but you got the big arm behind center because it doesn't get real fancy. If you can hold up in the protection, you're saying run as fast and as far as you can. I'm going to throw it as far as I can. And when you connect, it is a thing of beauty. And in this case, it results in a touchdown. They'll line it up to kick the extra point. It's up and through. And the Lions are on top. It's now 10 to 7. The kickoff team is out of the field. And 
we're back to it as the kicks away. How now to bring it back. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Vikings offense getting set to get back to work. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. They'll run it with Jones to begin this drive. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Second down and three. They run it once more with Jones. He's going nowhere. And a lose yardage on that play. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. 10-7 is the score. More from the Twin Cities in a moment. What can they do here on third down and seven? Darnold. He looks narrow and he's got his man on the front point. That's his first reception of the ballgame, and it really comes at a good time as they get the conversion on third down. Third down is when we see so many tight ends around the league really make their money. They operate in the middle of the field. They're a big, easy target for the quarterback. And even if they are covered, Mike, they're not really ever covered. Off the play fake, here's Darnold. That's caught downfield by Jefferson. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. Here's Darnold. Jordan Addison that time. It's second down. So instead of celebrating a touchdown, he's just heading back to his huddle trying to keep his head up as everyone kind of looks at him sideways. If that ball hits your hands at this level, you've just got to make the catch. That's what your quarterback's counting on. That's what your teammates are counting on. Frankly, that's what this entire stadium's counting on. And a determined run there. He gets about seven yards inside the 10-yard line. They'll come up to third and three. They'll go play action with Darnold. That is caught. And they'll stop him just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard? Now, for him individually, not ideal. But right now, they're on the doorstep of the end zone. And they got to find a way to put that ball across the board. And he's not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose yardage. They push him backwards. All week long, they stress, Mike, that we have to get as many defenders to this ball carrier as possible. They know he's going to make some guys miss. He's going to be hard to get on the ground. But you can see the effect of rallying to the ball as it had here. They're able to take him down, and they're able to do it for a loss. And he'll get about halfway there. It's a gain of two, down to the two. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment.
Line of scrimmage, the two-yard line. It's third down and goal. They'll try and throw. Here's Darnold. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Not only does he let the ball go through his hands, he lets six points slip away with that drop. I mean, everyone else does their job. The ball's on target. Listen, this is the big boy league now. The reality is, you just got to catch the ball. Oh, good blocking, and he's in. Touchdown, Minnesota. They're out there to block most of the time, but Greg... Great reward for the fullback to carry it in for the touchdown. Not every team in the league even carries a fullback, but man, if you have one on your roster, Mike, not many better places to use him than down here on the goal line. Riker now to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Vikings are on top. It's 14 to 10. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. To return it, it's Dorsey. Whoa. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Lions offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. The break the huddle coming up now for first and 10. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. He's caught left side by St. Brown. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Goff to the throw here on first and ten. That is made by Wright. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. They'll come up here on second down and five. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. They'll go play action with Goff. He'll let this one go long for Williams. You know, Mike, there's the saying in the NFL, take what the defense gives you. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you have to force a ball downfield. Show the defense you are willing to take big shots. Even though they weren't able to connect, it's going to have an impact the rest of the game. Out of the shotgun, it's gone. Quick throw, out wide, it's caught. Nice job there defensively to keep him in front of the marker. It's going to bring up fourth down. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. Now they got a fourth down decision to make. The Vikings offense ready to take over once more. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. They'll put Addison in motion. They'll run here. This is Ty Chandler. And he'll fight forward for a couple of yards, but a flag is down, and the linemen are already walking back. is Chandler. And that'll help a bit. They're still well short of the sticks. A solid pickup. 
on that first down play. This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. A run now for Chandler. And you'll get them five yards closer, but now third down coming up. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. And this ball incomplete on third down. It's pretty remarkable at this stage, Mike, that they're even winning this game. I mean, anytime a quarterback is completing less than 50% of his throws, you just don't see that very often. And it just seems like time and time again, this quarterback and his intended targets, they're just not on the same page. be brought down short return and they'll take over there the Lions offense ready to take over once again they'll begin with first and ten Williams in motion on play action Goff and he can't hang on through the contact it's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. That pass caught by Amon Ra. Goff's go-to guy, St. Brown. Amon Ra gives the Lions a first down. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Williams in motion. Off the play fake. Here's Goff. Going left side. And it's taken in by Williams. Man, what a big time play here by the corner. It feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped. You can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts. He ends that play before it even has a chance to get started. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Up front, and they get one of the defenders to jump. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Play action. He'll set up to throw. As he throws and is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. The whole idea of the play action pass, Mike, is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer, slower developing pass concepts to open up downfield. But in this case, they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around, needed to come out. There was no timing and ultimately led in an incompletion. It seemed to me, Mike, before that ball was even snapped, the quarterback had already made up his mind. I'm throwing the ball to the tight end no matter what the look is. And he's counting on the big body picking up the rest after the catch. And even though he's able to secure the ball, nice job by the defense keeping him short of the sticks. They'll go for it. Here's God. Oh, the blitz gets there. He is set, and they will turn it over on down. You've got to give credit to the defensive coordinator here. He went into attack mode, had a 
great blitz plan for this fourth down situation disrupted the timing of the offense and the quarterback had nowhere to go he flushes out of the pocket to keep the play alive and they're able to chase him down force the sack force the turnover on downs they put a receiver in motion to the left they'll run it here with Campbell not much happening there just a short game Here's second and nine. Working out of the gun. It's Garner. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. This is teach tape for man defense, Mike. I mean, he is not looking back at the quarterback at all. He is in the hip pocket of his receiver. He's staying in phase and in rhythm. And then he knows when the wide receiver's hands go up, attack the ball. And that's about as good as it gets. Throwing on third down is Darnold. You let this go. Deep for Jefferson. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner. Next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. On comes the punter now. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. So that one's going to land out of bounds, and the official's going to mark it right at the 20-yard line. The visitors' offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They'll do so with first and 10. From the gun, it's got. That's a short one caught by LaPorta. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the back side of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. Goff with the give to Montgomery. And he's got it. First down. A pickup of four. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short, play action pass, you can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. Goff to throw on first down. This one caught by Patrick. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now Goff. This throw taken in by Amon Ra. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. here is gone and that's going to be incomplete coverage was good that time the contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down you know it's hard to speculate like we sit up here and we try to just interpret and assume what's going on in the minds of the players and the minds of the coaches but they seem to me to be a little bit rattled all these negative plays have really started to pile up in the first half he's got to settle down have some more efficiency on these early downs and get his offense into some sort of rhythm. The biggest issue in why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. Sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? And this is no good. Could not get it on target. And they are not able to draw closer. 
You know, the hardest part about these missed kicks, Mike, is for all the guys that work so hard to put the ball in position to come away with points. You kind of trot off the field. You're hoping that next possession has a different result. The Vikings offense about ready to take over once more. They'll start with great field position up at their 45. Darnold now on first and ten. Got a man at true field. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. The throw here is complete. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Throwing, Darnold. And barring an aggressive decision here on fourth down, it just seemed like a really wasted possession to go three and out, not able to pick up a single first down. Not only do you not able to gain any field position advantage, it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails as you find yourself jogging off the field and the putt team coming on. That's going to be out of bounds, no return. And the drive's going to start from just inside the 20-yard line. So Jared Goff and the Lions offense getting set for this next drive. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. Spreading around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. On first and ten, here's Goff. To get this complete, it's Williams over the middle. And he's taken down, but not until he gets to the 32-yard line. They'll come up here first and ten. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On first down, it's gone. The five Montgomery out of the backfield. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Here's Goff. Quickly to the outside and complete. Here's second and three to go. Now, Goff. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock, catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. That's into the hands of the receiver, Patrick. Here's the third and final timeout for the Lions as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in the opening half. First and 10 now from the 36. Out of the shotgun, it's gone. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. 
And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? The tight end, Sam LaPorte, the intended receiver. And it'll be third down. To say football is a game of inches may be an understatement after that last play. I mean, if he gets there just a little bit quicker, he can get two hands on it and reel it in. And instead of just forcing the incomplete, he could have had himself a pick. And he missed it. It's no good. And they are not able to draw closer. Man, that would have been such a nice boost for this group going into halftime. The snap was good. The hold was good. He just couldn't quite get it through the uprights. Deep ball downfield for Sherfield. And that is brought in. And he's going to be out of bounds. Triple zeros up there on the clock. We have reached the end of the first half. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our halftime report. In that first half, it was the veteran Aaron Jones who had it going. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. These two teams ready for the second half, and so are we. So let's get you back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The home team's offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. They'll start it here with a first and ten. They'll power ahead with Ham, the fullback. He'll look forward for a couple. Big lineman Aleem McNeil ends the play there. Second down and eight. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Just a great example of not only the anticipation, but the instincts to go break that pass up, Mike. You can see he's clearly looking at the quarterback's eyes. And once that ball was delivered, he's just attacking it and breaking it up. They need eight as they come up for third down. Darnold now to throw. He's got a receiver. It's Addison. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Darnold. again and they bring him down inside the 25 yard line throwing a comeback route against zone coverage it can be a little bit tricky remember in zone the defender's eyes are on the quarterback so if your receiver doesn't sell that right and this ball's not thrown on time you're gonna end up watching that defender take this thing back the other way this is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here, taking them down for a loss. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. A carry now for Chandler. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs, back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. You have to wonder if next time does the play caller give his quarterback some options to check out of this play. It was clear before the ball was snapped. This was not a great look for that play call, and you can see the end result. On third and long, here's Darnold. 
Going right. It's taken in. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. Reichert's kick is good. Here's Craig Reynolds to return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The visitor's offense ready for their first possession of this second half. Find themselves trailing 17 to 10 now. As they come up with first down and 10. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Goff going to throw here on first and 10. He's got Laporta open on the left side. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's a second and nine. From the gun, it's gone. He's going to take a shot down the field. He's got it! And he'll be marked down to the 15-yard line. They really showed off their connection on that pitch and catch, Mike, and just really good ball placement and really good separation downfield. And when those two things align, it's just really challenging for a defender to stay with them and take that play away. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. Goff to throw. That pass caught by Amon Ra. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. Here's a handoff to Montgomery. And the Lions are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. Here's Gibbs. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And, Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. The extra point try forthcoming. It's up and good. And the Lions will come back to tie things at 17. for the kickoff. How now to bring it back. he work his way across the 25-yard line. The whole team's offense and Jordan Addison getting ready to get back on the field. They'll start out first down and 10. For a short pickup two out the 29 now this 
Rolls here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. In motion, it's Jefferson. On play action, here's Darnold. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. This is a great example of why teams want to stay out of what they call passing downs, where a defense doesn't have to honor the run. In this case, they do, and man, the play action pass just works off of that and can really lead to some chunk plays. Here's second and two. They'll run it on the inside handoff. And he's going to have that first down across midfield and down to the 46-yard line. A run with the fullback hand. Trying to use that big body to get the yardage, but he is stopped for no gain. He'll try again here, second and ten. Right back to the fullback. Trying to use that big body to get the yardage, but he is stopped for no gain. Here's a third and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Darnold. It's the linebacker, Jack Campbell. And he's going to give a short field to his offense here as they try to break the top. Defensively on third down, Mike, that's the money down. You have to find a way to get off the field. Most offenses are going to be more pass heavy, looking to throw the ball downfield to convert. How can you dial up the pressure just a little bit, force an errant throw, and in this case, come away forcing the turnover? The visitors' offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll have a short field ahead as they look to break our tie. It is first and ten. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Goff to throw on first down. To the right side, that's St. Brown. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Mike, you've heard me say it a thousand times. The easiest down to throw the ball in the NFL is first down. I hate when teams wait till later in the possession to throw the ball. So early first down completion, you're on the plus side of the field. Now you're thinking strike. Touchdown, field goal. But either way, I'm coming away with play. So this is where an offensive play caller needs to come to the rescue of his quarterback. Because this defense, they're on to They've got two picks. They're starting to pick up on your tendencies. They're shifting guys over to counter them. Now you've got to add some wrinkles. Now you've got to throw them a curveball and try to shift back some of that advantage to your side of the ball. The home team's offense, ready for this next possession, will try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Go play action with Darnold. 
looking for Jefferson deep downfield. So after their defense gives them a gift on their last drive and gets them the ball back in on the field, they nearly return the favor following that dangerous throw of their own. And at this point, they're lucky to walk away with just an incompletion. We'll try again. It's second and ten. From the shotgun, here's Darnold. When you air it out like that on these big shots downfield, they're not always high percentage plays. It takes a lot of things to line up timing-wise, location of the field, accuracy of the throw to result in those big plays. But I think they've got to continue to search for those and try to generate a little bit of a spark. Throwing on third down is Darnold. You let this go. Deep for Jefferson. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. He's trying to set the tone here for the rest of the game and let this defense know there is not a blade of grass on this field that you don't have to defend because he reared back and he let that one eat. And he's got to work a little bit on his touch, a little bit on his accuracy, but I don't think he needs to work on his arm strength. The Lions offense and Jared Goff set to go to work once more. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice, forced into a number of bad throws, and generally the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. They'll start this one on the ground with Gibbs. And he'll work this out to the 23. Linebacker Ivan Pace up to make that play. Look him up on a second down and eight. To throw is Goff. Catch is made. That is Williams. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point, he breaks in, and that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. He'll get this one complete to St. Brown. A game there of 10 yards. First down, Detroit. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, if we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play. Understand where the holes in the defense are get there and be friendly to the quarterback and if you're open stay open that's nfl route running that's what the best guys do he's already been a little reckless with his decision making up until this point mike and now it almost backfires on him again he has to do a better job of finding the matchups finding the space on the field so everything is not a forced ball into these tight windows Greg was on picking up the first down. Forget that. They go down the field and in the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, and I don't think it was just your focus, Mike. I think in this case, it was the defense's focus. They're so worried about where that first down marker was that they allowed them to get that ball up and over the top for the deep strike touchdown.
A try here for the extra point. He's got it. And the Lions will go up by seven. team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Ty Chandler now to bring it back and he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line off the play fake here's Darnold and he was we hit the deck at the end of that one no unnecessary shot there it is a first down. So we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's first and ten. They'll stick to the ground. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Really nice job by the interior of this offensive line. It typically just takes one guy to distort the defense to give the back enough room to operate. And that's exactly what they did here. And it led to a big game. They'll run here. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Of play callers in the NFL, Mike, do a great job tying in their under center run game, like we just saw here, with their under center play action game. And the ability to make those two things look alike, man, it puts a lot of stress on the defense. They'll keep it on the ground. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. Darnold to throw. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Big play coming up. This is third down. Trying to pick this one up on the ground. He's going to have a Vikings first down. It was third and three, and they picked up six. They'll stay on the ground. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. started too much defensive pressure they dropped him in the backfield with how fast they were all over that play you almost wonder mike was there a pre-snap tell did they know that play was coming because i'll tell you that defense was on it from the start from the gun on third down it's done the pressure gets home he's lost the football and it's recovered by one of his teammates 
teammates. After these kind of plays, Mike, you just wish the sideline was a mile away because you know when you get there, you are going to catch an earful. They stress all week, ball carriers, we have to protect the ball. In this case, it doesn't result in a turnover, but the lost yardage now brings up fourth down. These are drive killers. ready to go once more as the kicks away to return it it's Dorsey across the 20 will mark him down before the 25 yard line and that's where the offense will take over the visitors offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more and we run you through the highlights here it has been a very big performance from the quarterback position instrumental in leading and executing and now trying to finish strong and take his team to the finish line. On the ground, Montgomery to start the drive. And this will be a Lions first down as the tackle's made at the 35-yard line. The ability to be effective on first down, Mike, it just makes everything else easier. In the event you do have to face a third down down the road, they're usually a lot more manageable situations, a lot easier to convert. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On first down, it's gone. That's a short one caught by Laporta. And they'll get it up four here as he is taken down. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back and looks like the same old hitch route underneath we've seen a few times and they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes, and once you do, you can try to go for the big one. He's caught outside by St. Brown. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. The offense is able to land a big blow there, and I think what happened defensively, Mike, is just everyone was not on the same page. And when you do that at this level, the good offenses, they're going to make you pay for it. They've got to clean up those mistakes, make the offense have to earn everything they get. Set to go now on first and ten. Out of the shotgun, it's gone. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently. Not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. Going left side. And it's taken in by Williams. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. Big time completion right there. And this isn't just a spot where they're trying to run the game out here in the fourth quarter. They were not only trying to pick up points, but they're trying to get in the end zone and extend this lead. So really nice job here late. Let's we'll see if they can put this one out of reach. That one is... Jamison Williams. Touchdown, Detroit. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. The extra point is good. And the Lions will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The 
kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Chandler now to return it. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. Out comes the Minnesota offensive unit as they get set to take over. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized it was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no gain. Throwing on second down. Darnold. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Well, it's pretty clear the main reason why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the inefficiency of this offense and primarily out of the quarterback position. I mean, to complete less than half of your pass attempts, it just makes it very hard to compete at a high level consistently in the NFL. And they want to find themselves having any chance of getting back into this game and winning this one. He's going to have to get a lot better with the ball. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. St. Brown and the rest of the Detroit offense heading out for their next possession. They'll come up first and ten at the 40. We'll have a short field in front of them as they try to extend this lead out further. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities. And for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line. And we saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. One more time for Montgomery. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. stop we would have stopped anyway as we hit the two-minute warning so they move inside the 20 first and 10 at the 18 straight ahead it's Montgomery and strong running in deep inside the 10-yard line a gain of nine on the carry A good spot here, second and a yard. They'll stay on the ground. Again, Montgomery. And he'll get a couple of yards, and that's good enough for the first down. comes second and goal. Yeah. 
One more time with Montgomery. Looking for a C, but will not find one. He'll take this down to the four-yard line. You've got to consider this an absolute must-stop defensively. It's third down. They'll run with Montgomery. And this is going to be a touchdown. They are going to extend the lead here in the final minute of play. An extra point attempt to follow. The kick is good. And the Lions are able to extend the lead. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Howell now to bring it back. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Vikings offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. We'll start this drive with first down. Come to the line now on second and two. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. On first and ten, here's Darnold. That'll be incomplete. And now we are down to likely just one more play. Dropping a catchable ball is one of the worst feelings. It feels like the entire stadium is laughing at you. And all I know is, firsthand, you just want to get another opportunity to put that one behind you. Here we go. One final play. Deep ball downfield for Sherfield. And the final the game winds up incomplete. And that will do it. This one comes to an end. So a win for the visitors, the Lions. They're able to get the job done in front of a hostile crowd as they come away with the victory.